Hey guys, it's Rhonda from Rhonda's Creative Corner where we teach you to make mums and wreaths and how to perfect your craft. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Dollar Tree frame. I actually got this last year to do this project, but I just never got to it. But I wanted to show you guys, me and my friend Alma, we were in there cleaning up and I said, oh, look what I found. I have a lot of projects that I haven't done. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to be using this frame. Everything is going to be from the Dollar Tree other than this here. And uh, this is from Hobby Lobby. This is actually from Hobby Lobby. I just liked it to give it a little bit more dimension. So if you want this from Hobby Lobby, you can go and get it. It was uh, $12.99 and I know it was 50% off. So you can get that from Hobby Lobby. Everything else is from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need this frame. I'm not sure if they have this, but I'm pretty sure they do. It's just window decals. You'll need this. And then I have some, y'all know I did a tutorial last week doing a grapevine wreath. So I had some stuff left over. So I'm going to be using the leaves. Let me just pick you up some stuff. Some um, sunflowers. Um, I got the sunflowers off of this one. And I have some other things up here too as well. Stuff that I used last week. I'm going to use again this week. So this will also show you how you can, don't have to waste some of your supplies that you have left. Even if you have one or two things that you can add it to something else. Alright guys, that's the supplies. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you guys an easy project that you could do. Something that you could give a family member. Um, for Christmas, or not Christmas because it's Thanksgiving, for Thanksgiving, like if you're going over to your house, it will be a simple gift that you could uh, give to them. All right, so we're going to get started. And so I want to go ahead and add my flowers first um, so that I can see where it's going to lay and then I can choose where I want my stickers to actually go, okay? So I'm sorry, tools you're going to need is um, wire cutters and your glue gun. All right. So usually what I do first is I just kind of lay things out and try to figure out which way I want stuff to lay. Okay. And with this, what you want to do when you're doing this, you want to cut this down as far as you can so that it will lay as flat as possible. Okay. Because when you have a stem like this and you're trying to push it there, it just won't work. You want it to be as flat as possible. Okay. All right. So all I'm doing is just placing stuff and seeing what I like. I don't like that. So I do like that, okay? So we're going to remove all of this. I'm going to start. I'm going to place our glue. My glue gun is working really well today. I wanted to cut some of this off just so it wouldn't be sticking out too much. underneath there so that we can put that there as well. and so you can even use a ribbon if you have the Dollar Tree ribbon I couldn't find mine I just think that it would be too big but that is another option for you okay using the Dollar Tree ribbon and so if you didn't want to use a flower you could use a ribbon up there So that's what we're going to use. The sunflower is what we're going to actually use to hide everything. So we're just going to put the glue on top. So we'll take our flower and we'll press it down. Oh, I grabbed the other flower. 
And if you had more of these, you could even put this going that way if you wanted to. You would actually have to glue it and you'll see what I, how I glue it when I put it over here. Because we want things to be going in opposite directions. We don't want both of them to be here. I want mine to be catty corner. But if you wanted to have two things here and just leave this down here blank, you're more than welcome. Just depending on the picture that you have. You know, if you have like a picture that I'm going to probably put in here, I would want us as a family or something to be right here. Okay. Or if you're just giving it away, you'll just leave this one in here and give it to whoever you're giving it to and they can place a picture in there. All right. All right. Just want to make sure that that's going to be, I'm going to shake it a little bit. Make sure that it's going to stick on there. sit here for 30 minutes while it's blowing or sticking all right i guess if you had something heavy you know you could put it just on this part don't break your glass so, all right so i have to hold this here so i'm not going to sit here on camera while i'm doing this and i'll be right back and we'll do the other side all right all right guys be right back all right, guys, so I finally got it to stick. Now we're going to actually do the other side. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to use two leaves. That's one thing that I, told, I totally forgot to tell you guys. When you're getting ready to start off, make sure that it is the right way. You know, where, you, where if somebody has it, that they're able to put it the right way. You know, you didn't want it upside down where this is like that. <laughs> I paid attention beforehand and then I forgot to tell you guys. Just pay attention when you're doing it that this is actually going down so that it will sit right. Okay. I just thought about it. I was like, oh gosh, I hope I did. But yeah, I did. All right. So let's do this side. All right. Let's put our glue again. And uh, Dollar Tree has a lot of pretty flowers. So you guys can use whatever flowers you want I just like the um some flowers where I actually glue it because of course once you stand it up this is not going to actually stay okay. and when you're doing this try to find the prettiest side the one that doesn't have as much white where the um, little beads have fallen off on the prettiest side All right, and because this is sticking up, we're going to go up. I'm going to put glue down. All right. Just to give it some support. Say we got a redo. I forgot about the green. No biggie. I just picked it up. I'm gonna just make sure that this down here, and I'll go in and put some extra glue, glue there as well. I forgot all about the green, but as you can see, it really didn't hurt anything. I just picked up the um. 
I don't even know what these are called. The little beaded pick. <laughs> Y'all tell me down in the comments what it's called. Let's try it on. All right, so we're gonna put our flower now, and as you can see, hopefully on the camera, yeah, you can see. I'm putting glue over that part as well. All right, we're gonna take our flower and we're gonna push down. And like I said, you saw I forgot something. I picked it up real fast, put down what I was supposed to, and put it down again. The weather is, ooh, it's getting like really windy out there. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, and my friend Alma, she's here with me. She gave me a great idea. If you do not like the color of the front frame, you can just, um, even if you just take the glass out and everything, and you can spray paint it. That way you don't have to tape anything. You can just spray paint it. That would be really pretty. All right, so we're going to take this, and so you see how this is. So I'm going to just want to, to glue this here, okay? But it looks really, really pretty. I love it. And you don't want it to be in your picture too much because you already have quite a bit. So I'm going to make sure that I glue this one where it's not like a whole all the way in the picture. Take this one, put a tad bit of glue. I don't know what the weather's about to do out there. So with this one, I'm just gonna leave it how it is, okay? So let's see, let's get our I really wanted to use when I first did this, I was like, oh, I want to use the gift. Thanks. But I think that it would be too much. But I'm just going to put it on there so you guys could see how it would look. I think it would be really, really cute, especially if you had maybe like a smaller picture where the people were going to be down here. I think that that would be super cute. It just depends on just depends on what picture you, you or your, the person you're giving to is going to use. But this could be one idea that you could do. I think it's really pretty. Let me see, give thanks. So that's one option that you could do. Put that back. All right, and we could use this. Make sure. And then we'll get this one. There's so many things you could do with it. Put it there up top. And again, what you're doing is you're going to be able to miss that part. I kind of want to take this off and then take this out so you guys can actually see. Because it looks a little funny with the people being right there. And of course, you wouldn't use a picture that big. Even if you got a mat and then you put a little, um, what is it? Four by, I guess four by six. And you had a mat cut out. And you could put the picture in there where it would actually fit in there. So I'm going to stop the film and I'm going to turn this around so you guys could actually see and won't see the people. I'll be right back. All right. So I've got the picture turned around. Now you guys can see better of what I'm doing and how beautiful this is. So you could take different things if you wanted to. If you wanted to use this, you could kind of put this here. Especially if you weren't going to do something like if you wanted to use this and you can write the person a note right here. It doesn't even have to be a picture. So you could get some colored paper and you could have it back there and you can write them a little note. 
and you can have this there and you know you could just decorate it if you're not going to put a picture there then you can use a lot of this you know just put it in different places all right but if you are going to use a picture i definitely wouldn't use this i would um i would probably just use something like this like these two of them okay so what you want to do especially if you're giving this as a gift and even if i was doing something for myself i always want to make sure that it looks good because you never know who's going to come over who's going to pick stuff up and look at stuff um so yeah this is a real quick and easy inexpensive gift all right so of course like i said if you wanted to just uh -oh, just use some um colored paper and you can put something there or you could you can even put a picture there if you have some of those really cute scissors um that cut the you know like jagged edges and stuff like that you could put that in there so there's a lot of possibilities that you could do with putting a picture in there so i think it turned out really cute all right guys so here's the finished product i really love the way that it turned out i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial when dollar tree comes out with their christmas stuff you could do the same thing with christmas you can spray paint it or whatever you need to do and get you some little um flowers poinsettias or whatever and you'll be able to do this too all right guys please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to push that no notification bell and if you want to learn more from me you can go to www.runnerscreativecorner.com and go to the runners creative circle tab and you can join us there in the circle all right guys until next time bye guys <laughs>